Branson is springing back to life, and we can't wait to share some great suggestions with you of how you can enjoy the Ozarks. But first, let's roll that intro. Roll it! All right, everyone, in this video, we're going to highlight some of the great happenings around Branson that are more limited time only around springtime and Easter. We're also gonna be throwing in some cool ways to enjoy the gorgeous views of Mother Nature as the Ozark Hills come back to life and we return to the amazing outdoor activities that our area has to offer. We're gonna be linking those businesses in the description down below, so make sure you check them out. We also want to remind you all that we do have an awesome giveaway going through Easter Sunday on our channel. All Access Branson hooked us up with a three day, two night vacation. And that includes your stay and also great activities for you to do together as a family. For more information on this giveaway, make sure you watch the video that we're gonna put at the end of this video. So click the button to go to that video. Now back to the springtime attractions for 2023. Let's start with Spring Fest at Shepherd of the Hills. So this is a great opportunity for you to visit Shepherd of the Hills and they have an Easter bunny, they have an Easter egg hunt that happens at 12 and two o'clock each day that they're open. Now their opening days, they are open Fridays through Sundays and that's April 1st through April 9th. And there's just so much fun stuff to do on the farm. Um, you can pet baby bunnies, you can enjoy their spring themed shakes at Sammy Lane Sweets and Treats and uh you know their general ticket you do actually get a lot included in that so you do get to meet the easter bunny you get to do the easter egg hunts they have a jump pad a mega tube slide which is charlie's favorite thing there um, they have great photo ops a cow milking station a hayride a petting zoo they have baby animals like those bunnies they have their tunnel slide mini golf uh, they also have duck water races and a sweet ninja warrior course also so much more to do on the farm. So that is the general ticket. They also have a super spring adventure ticket and that includes all of the things from the general admission ticket and then one ride on the Copperhead Mountain Coaster, which is a blast. 15 minutes on their challenge ropes course and entry into the inspiration tower where you get to overlook the Ozarks Hills. So that's truly a beautiful site. Hope you guys get to do that. Um, those tickets can be purchased online ahead of time and you can usually save a few dollars if you do that, but you can also purchase your tickets there in person if you want to purchase the day of. Our next like Easter related activities is gonna be the Easter Bunny Experience at Seasonal Encounters Branson. This is gonna happen on April 5th, 6th, 7th and 8th. Your Easter Bunny experience comes to life the moment you walk through the cottage doors. You'll be transported to a charming bunny village delicately decorated in spring decor and sprinkled with the magic of Easter. Here you will decorate an Easter egg, learn what it takes to be an egg decorator, take pictures with the Easter Bunny, paint your own bunny on a canvas to take home with you, meet and play with the giant bunny rabbits, visit the petting zoo, meet Dolly their real life kangaroo, play all their Easter games plus so much more. There are many things to do here for all ages. They also have Jurassic Land, which you can check out at any point in time on our channel as we've already done a video on seasonal encounters, but we're also looking forward to their future encounters. The next one is gonna be Wild West Adventure, which you can visit May 1st through September 16th. I know we can't wait to enjoy the new experience. That's right, we are really looking forward to that Wild West Adventure and we can't wait to share with you all all about it. Now, the next thing we want to talk about is Street Fest at Silver Dollar City. This is going to run April 6th through the 30th, so most of the month of April. And this is a great time to visit where the Silver Dollar City just comes to life with bright colors. There's great street entertainers and they have some great shows and food planned, too. So their shows, let's start with Bloom, which is going to be in the Opera House. It is a wonderful speed painter. She is amazing, Jessica K. Haas. And she puts so much emotion and so much comes to life through her paintings. And then also part of that show is an America's Got Talent finalist, which we watch that show very often. Um, her name is Christy Sellers and she does aerial acrobatics and dance. And it's gonna be a beautiful show. We can't wait to check it out. Um, also, the amazing Anastasini Circus in the Boatworks Theater. They are supposed to be so funny. They're supposed to have, you know, that comedy. They're supposed to have great acrobatics, and we're looking forward to that as well. Um, some of the street performers, Kent Arnsparger with the Blossom Beauties. He brings the sounds of the islands to Silver Dollar City's Street Fest. 
And the Blossom Beauties are these beautiful ladies who have these um, costumes, these dresses that look like flowers blooming and coming to life. Um, so we're really excited to see all of that around Street Fest. Um, Eric Haynes is also an award-winning comedian. He's also a one-man band, so he's got all those instruments that he's playing. Um, and then, you know, he also get invo gets involved with the crowd and the people who might be watching him um, around the square or if he's traveling around the city. Um, I think that's the great thing is that these are street performers. So they know how to work a crowd and they know how to get people involved. So we're really looking forward to that. Um, also, We Flip Entertainment is going to be around the city and um, they have really cool gravity defying teeter board antics. They're supposed to be funny as well. So uh, we're excited to see them. And it's always cool to see people do flips. Like, I don't care who you are, but um, that sounds like a lot of fun. They also have the Street Fest Tasting Passport, which there are a lot of really delicious looking options. So make sure that you know that that Tasting Passport can only be used April 6th through the 30th at Street Fest. You can't use it at any other point throughout the year because they have other options of that Tasting Passport with their different festivals. So those Tasting Passports can be purchased online. Um, you can also call Silver Dollar City or you can purchase them at several different booths and stores around the city. And big news, as of this week, the train is back up and running. We know for us and our nostalgia that we're so excited that we can ride the train once again. Now, if you guys live in Branson, you already know this, but if you don't, you might not. Springtime means it's time to head back outside to the beautiful Mother Nature. Branson, the area that surrounds it, is as beautiful as anywhere in the Ozarks during springtime. If you are anything like us, you want to be immersed in the warm sunlight and beautiful views as everything begins to bloom and turn green once again. That's right. And I think that some great ways that you can experience nature in the Ozarks, beautiful ways, number one would be Dogwood Canyon. And that's out past Ridgedale, Missouri, but it's worth it. You know, there's so many cool things there. You know, they have great wildlife. They have paved trails that are easy for walking or riding your bike. They also have bike rentals there. Um, they also have horseback riding and you can see just gorgeous landscaping. Um, they have so many waterfalls and um, just water flowing throughout. They have a really cool tree house. So definitely check out Dogwood Canyon if you can find a nice day. Another thing that I would definitely suggest is Top of the Rock and doing their Lost Canyon golf cart tour because again, you get to see the beauty of the Ozarks Hills, the beauty of nature, and there are some gorgeous waterfalls there. There are, you can drive through a cave in your golf cart, which you can't do that everywhere. Like it is such a neat experience. I really hope that you guys get to check out both Dogwood Canyon and Top of the Rock on the nice days that we have coming up in the spring. This next outdoor activity is also pretty unique and it's also not technically inside Branson city limits. It is only about a 20 mile drive away though to Omaha, Arkansas, and it gives you an opportunity to do something really cool and truly immersed in mother nature. We're gonna warn you though, you're gonna get muddy. Hogwild Adventures offers a unique trip through the hills and creeks of our area. This locally owned business will allow you the opportunity to drive side by side through 20 miles of trails in the heart of the Ozarks. The hour and a half guided off-road tour utilizes four-seater Yamaha Wolverine side-by-sides to traverse steep hills and ridges, cross creeks, and navigate wooded trails. Your tour guide will take you to absolutely stunning scenic overlooks as well. This adventure is family-friendly for kids five and older. Not many attractions in our area will allow you to take the wheel of such a trip through our countryside, and spring seems to be the perfect time to take your family on a unique outdoor experience. We're personally hoping to do this one really soon, so make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified whenever we make an awesome video and the Branson fam goes for a hog wild adventure in the near future. Another fantastic way to experience the Ozarks and also Branson, Missouri is to schedule pink Jeep tours. Now these are literally pink Jeeps that are going to take you and your family or your group around Branson to different landmarks, different landscapes, and to see the town. So you can experience the magic of the Ozarks like never before. Um, you can go to these off-road trails to the summit of Baird Mountain, while expert local guides bring centuries of mountain history and culture to life for you. Pink Jeep Tours offers many different options when it comes to their tours. And depending on which tour you choose, it will have a different price point and a different amount of time that it might take. Some of them focus more on the natural beauty of our area, while other tours might showcase downtown historic Branson and a lot of natural ecosystems that we have in our area. 
Two of the cooler things about Pink Jeep Tours is that they will take you to an amazing private vista that is only available through their business. And they offer sunset tours to see a once in a lifetime views that your family is going to remember forever. This spring, make sure that you take advantage of the natural beauty of the Ozarks while enjoying your time in the sweet ride that Pink Jeep Tours offers. Springtime in Branson, Missouri truly is gorgeous. Everything's turning green, everything's blooming, there's flowers everywhere, the trees look amazing, the lakes look amazing, the rivers look amazing. You guys need to be here to see it for yourselves. And we hope that you get to visit Branson soon. If we missed anything or you have other suggestions that we might have left off that are important during the springtime, please comment those down below. We really appreciate you all watching our channel. Go check out some of our other suggestion videos. And until our next adventure, fam, we'll, we'll catch, catch y'all later. later.